Hi, welcome to another video. So, I had covered Llama Coder a while back when it first got released, but recently it got some pretty good updates that I wanted to talk about, and it's now apparently called Llama Coder V2. So, let's talk a bit about it and how it works. Plus, it's also open source. So, I'll also tell you how you can use it locally as well. This is what you'll see when you come to Llama Coder. It's a lot changed from the last time. So, here, you can enter the prompt of whatever you want to generate. Then, you can also select the model you want to use as well. Previously, it was limited to only Llama models, but now it has a bunch of other models as well, like Quen 2.5 Coder, Llama 3.3, and Llama 3.1, and DeepSeq V3 as well. The best one is the DeepSeq V3 model, and the DeepSeq V3 is also now available on Together AI. So, you can use the model with free credits through there as well. Anyway, now you can also see another option as well, which is the Shad CN option. The Shad CN option basically allows you to generate code with Shad CN components, which is pretty great because most of us would want to use Tailwind or Shad CN or something like that. So, this integrates Shad CN in it, which is pretty great. Another option that we have here is this high quality and low quality option. The high quality option here chains the prompt and response through the model multiple times to get the best generations, while in the low quality mode, it will only generate the code once and use it, which is also good. Also, these all seem to be free and don't cost anything, or even require signing in or signing up, which is great. It also generates all the code in React, which is good, and the code generated can actually be used for multiple purposes, which is great. You can also see some of the basic starter prompts here as well. But, let's test it out as well, and see how well it works. Let's ask it to make a playable synth keyboard. Once we type it in, we'll need to select which model we want to use. So, let's select the model here as DeepSeq V3. Once we select it, we can either select the Shad CN option, or keep it off. I'm going to keep it off. Now, let's select the high quality option here. Once we do that, we can just send in the request, and it will just start coding the required stuff. Since we are in the high quality mode, it'll take a bit, and if we wait a bit, then it's now done, which is what was required. Now, you can see the whole chat thread here, along with the text that it generated, and stuff like that. You can also ask for follow up questions here, or you can also ask it to change something in it or edit it as well. But, you can also see the generation here as well. You can see that this looks pretty good, and if we try to use it, then this works pretty well, which is what was expected and super cool. You can also share the generation as well by using the share button, which will give you a URL that you can share with anyone, and they can use it. So, this is super cool if you want to generate some simple, useful mini-apps and share them with anyone to use alongside you as well, which is pretty great. You can also refresh the preview through here as well. If you create an app with a state that cannot be reset, then you can just refresh through here, which is also great. You can also look at the code by clicking the code option, and it will open up the code that it has generated as well, which looks pretty good. Although you don't have an option to directly download the code, you can still use it by just copying the code, which is also fine. But now, let's try to change some stuff as well, and let's see how well it performs. So, let's ask it to add a heading to it, saying King. Once you send the prompt, then it will start generating the stuff for you as required, which is pretty great. If we wait a bit, then you can see that it's now done. And we also have the preview updated here, 
which is pretty great, and the heading is also added here. You can also now see the versions of generated code in the threads as well, which is good if you want to see the previous version. You can also go between the versions via this version slider as well, which will automatically update the preview and code accordingly, which is great to see as well. So, you can keep following up through here and keep generating stuff until you get the right fit. And then you can download the code or share it as well. One more thing that it has is the Shad CN thing. So, let's enable this here and let me select the Llama 3.3 model here. Now, let's keep it in the low mode this time. Let's ask it to build me a good looking finance tracker app. Shad ECN should come in handy for this. Once we send it in, it will start creating the app as required. Let's wait a bit. And it's now done. And this looks pretty good, which is what was expected. And it also used Shad CN as well. You can look at the code here, which is pretty good as usual. So that's super cool as well. That's how the hosted demo works. Now, let me also show you how you can use it locally as well. You can just click this, and it will open up the respective GitHub repo for you. Now, you'll see the instructions to get it up and running. But generally, you'll have to first clone the repo on your computer. Once you have done that, you'll need to get in the folder, and then create a new env variable, and then put in your together AI API key like this. Once that's done, you'll need to get the packages installed by running npm install and this will get the related packages installed. Once done, you can just run the server by running npm run dev, and it will get the stuff started as required, which is pretty great. Once we view it, you can see that it is here, and we have all the options as required. Let's just generate a simple app here, and once we send it, it just works as usual. And after waiting a bit, we have the app here, and it looks pretty good. So, that's how it works. It's actually really good. And to be honest, it's pretty great to use as it's super simple. And the generations are quite good. I think that it's pretty great for generating front ends and most of the tasks. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, share your thoughts below and subscribe to the channel. You can also donate via Super Thanks option or join the channel as well and get some perks. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.